Hello and welcome to this video. As the title part suggests, the Roomba i3 and i4 got smart mapping. And here's the update that Roomba gives on their website. I recorded a screenshot or slash video. So you guys can pause the video if you want to to see all the updates. And dev release notes. This is such a big update since the smart mat used to be only for the 700 above Roombas, but now it's available for these 350 Roombas. So in this video, I want to try to show everybody how to set up these smart maps and use them and what potentials they have. So almost done here, okay. So first you get into the mapping section and it asks you for to remove all the obstacles and that's exactly what I'm doing right now. I remove all the obstacles. Although personally I would suggest not to remove these chairs because when I tried this, the Roomba thought there wouldn't be any chairs and started freaking out thinking that it wasn't in the correct room. Yeah, and that gave some error, which stopped it, and it just went back to the home base. So now we're starting a mapping run, and here's some time lapses of how this goes. First, the Roomba undocks from the charging station or charging base, and you can notice the sound is a lot quieter. It doesn't turn on all the brushes and vacuum, it just turns on the side brush and it just drives around like that and surprisingly it can drive up to around three and a half hours before running out of battery which means for my house which is around 142 meters squared it can do this in one charge and I don't even think the Roomba i4 can map bigger houses. Once mapping, I got 148 meters squared and the Roomba i4 gave me a error of houses too big, something like that. I can't even remember exactly the error was, but it stopped working and that mapping run, which took around three and a half hours, failed because of that. And you'll probably find this pretty hard to do because I've done this mapping run maybe six, seven times. Uh, mo multiple times were failures and yeah, a lot of the runs they just fail or they don't map all the rooms. Okay, well, the Roomba has just finished after around three hours. And 30 minutes of mapping my house. 142 square meters takes that long to map and this is what happens. I'll drive back to the charging base and dock. After it's docked the app will show you that the Roomba has finished and you can start editing your map. But this will take a few minutes, maybe around 5 minutes, until there's a notification that pops up on your Android that will tell you to edit your map. I don't know about iOS since I don't have one. But after that you can look at your map and edit it. The video over here is just a showing one of the routines I created. Um, Roomba now knows your home, so just drive to exactly where you want. Okay, and then the screen sh video recording over here is just editing the ma map. It asks you to name your house. This is probably for if you have multiple floors, but i4 only supports one floor anyway, so it doesn't really matter that much that you name your uh, correctly you can just name it whatever of like main floor like I did now you have to set your orientation I set it as south up 
um, you can set it any way you want, whatever it makes you feel good. And next, you have to set up the rooms. You have to divide the area into rooms. This way, you can name each area and hopefully be able to tell your hey, uh, Google or your Alexa devices or maybe even Siri to go clean that room. I, I know it works right now. I've tested it, but I don't show it in this video. So just keep in mind, the smart assistants do work. Um, yeah, this is just dividing the room. And this map I'm showing, it's a failed map. So yeah, you even if you know my house, it's not really accurate. This is not the actual my, my house. And here's the label room. This is the fourth one you have to do. You just have to label every single section you separate off. And it takes a while to name. Like every time you name a room, it takes uh, maybe five seconds to save whatever you just named. So yeah. Very okay, and there I finished naming everything. And uh, looks like I just messed up something, so I'm renaming something here. But I'm sure I'll be done really fast. Yeah, the saving time is a little long. Also, the video on the left side, the Roomba has just finished cleaning. It turns off the vacuum and the brush. Yeah, it just drives back. This is how cool it is. What the hell? That was so fast. Yeah, yeah it, it's not as fast. The Roomba stops a lot to think, I think. I think that's what it's doing. It stops and just, so it just stops there. It, it doesn't keep on moving. Which the map shows and there's a lot of show. bugs like this time oh, the robot oh, even docked successfully it this just parked right, right there and thought that was finished you're not charging what the hey <laughs> what all right there's definitely some bugs around this robot then as I mentioned before, there's so many bugs, and here's one, it, the Roomba literally just stopped right on the carpet, I don't know what that is, and there's, this is also another bug. Despite all these bugs, I still think this is a cool feature, and in order to utilize it best, I think having a printed out map is a good idea, and here's all just some tips on how to keep your Roomba running at the top uh, performance. Thanks for watching.